Greetings. Today I'd like to do a quick little video on a discovery I made while setting up a TC Electronic Clarity M with my Dante configuration, which is cored by a RME Digiface Dante interface on the computer. If you have seen any of my prior videos, including the one where I go into how to set up a loopback interface in Total Mix, you will know that it's possible to create, in effect, a main program mix that you're going to send to your VoIP software, your video conferencing software, OBS, or other recorder, whatever it may be, right? That takes all of your input channels, whether they be hardware input channels like these over here, or your software in input channels coming from the computer itself, and gives you a program mix, right? And it'd be nice to know how that program mix is shaping up, right? And you can do that to a degree with RME's DigiCheck. And you've probably seen me always running this totalizer view where you've got spectrogram, you've got peaks, and you've got a vector scope, which when you're doing with a mono mic, obviously it's just going to be a straight line. DigiCheck does have a loudness meter but it's not awesome, right? Yes, you get your momentary short term and integrate it over the duration of the program or since you hit start at any, while it's been running, but there's no history graph or anything like that, which you get on the clarity, right? So the clarity, you've got the little history rater, you've got the instantaneous around the edge, you can set up, customize whatever other values you wanna see on the right, um, it also has its own spectrograph and vector scope, but mainly it's a uh, loudness tool. And in order to get stuff into it, you can do it one of two ways, right? You can do it the plug-in route, which means now you're dependent on having a host application running a VST or something like that. Or you can do it the hardware route where it will ingest signal via digital in this case, AES EBU. And so how do we get our program mix out to the clarity, right? Well, it turns out it's actually pretty stupidly simple to do. And let me get the, the right. So when you set up a loopback channel in Total Mix, you might think that well, it's going to steal that output and loop it back to the input. And so you don't actually get any output at the hardware level. In my case, Dante channels. But actually, it does actually still send to the hardware outputs in addition to looping it back in and overriding the input channels that would have otherwise be coming in from the hardware. So by virt simple virtue of the fact that this is Dante channel 6364 outputs. You can see them here in Dante controller, and I have the AES EBU interface I'm using subscribed to the, those two main program left and right. And so the Clarity M is getting the same signal that's being sent to VoIP, video conference, etc. And it works really well. And you're not dependent on having to run software, VST host, etc. So you know, all the mixing is done in hardware in the FPGA of the RME interface. And it happens to be I'm doing it with Dante, but this should work, I'm assuming, with any of the other RME interfaces, whether it's a Babyface or UCX or whatever. You know, set the loopback interface to be on your SPDIF channel or one of your ADAT channels that's configured as toss link out two channels, right? And you will be able to send that out as a digital out on the RME interface, connect that to the appropriate digital in on the Clarity and Bob's your uncle. So keep it short. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. Cheers.